Hey, this is Sarah Ayler from softflexcompany.com. We have big things going on today. We are launching our very first customer appreciation week, and I am super excited uh, to chat with you. So get on here um, and get comfy. We've got a lot to talk about. We've also got a free bead strand uh, that I'm going to show you today that's quite lovely. So I am excited to uh, get going today. How are you guys doing? How are all my friends out there? Did you enjoy the live sale yesterday? We had a live sale uh, on the on our Softflex Company Facebook page. It was uh, pretty amazing. It was 250 items from one of the company owners, uh, Mike Sherman's private collection. And uh, we saw just some really, really beautiful, unique items. Uh, in the sale. It is open through Thursday, which is tomorrow. Um, and I don't have the date in my head. So maybe Thomas can post it for us. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Wendy. So good to see you guys. Hi, Gail. Um, yeah, so the live sale is posted. If you want an easy way to find part one and part two, I put it in the announcements in our Softflex VIB group, which you can see the name right here. It's the Softflex VIB Studio Facebook group, go there and I clicked to make them both announcements, part one and part two, and you should see them right in order. And that's a really handy, nice way for you to be able to find them without having to scroll through the pages or search. It should be a good way to, um, to find them easily. You can change your order all the way up until uh, tomorrow night at midnight. Thomas has already been pulling comments and organizing them, and then he will completely organize whatever's left at Thursday night at midnight. He actually stays up and does that for us so that the list is fresh and ready to go Friday morning, uh, first thing when James and Rosa get into the office. Nice to see all of you. Let's see what Beverly says. Yes, tremendously. I'll like it even more if I got what I ordered. I hope you did too. It's always fun. Hey, Becky, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good today. It's been a crazy day. We're launching our, our first customer appreciation week. And it's something I kind of dreamed up. Um, that is a little bit similar to the Great Beat Extravaganza, um, but has a little bit of a soft flex spin on it. And uh, I think it's going to be really cool. I think you guys are going to love it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about it today, but I'm going to go more in detail on Friday. I'm going to do a video on just that. So the variety of uh, companies that are collaborating together for Customer Appreciation Week can all share that video and have it just be about that. Uh, Julie is saying that she went a little nuts buying at the last sale, so she has to behave this time. That happens. That happens to the best of us. I also wanted to point out, if you liked this little design that I did as an Instagram reel um, on our Instagram page using the Gollum Studios bead and then the Kate Richburg uh, acorn vial, these things are great. Uh, Kate just reloaded these on her website. It actually spins and comes off and you can put something inside. It's really, really cool. Um, and she doesn't make very many at a time usually. So she just reloaded them up at katerichburgjewelry.com if you wanted to grab one of those. I'm holding on to mine for when I go on vacation. The next vacation I go on, which will be my first vacation after COVID, I am going to find a pretty rock or a seashell or something really special um, to nest inside of there to remind me how important those vacations are. They're really cool. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, thanks for being here today. Yeah, I, we, all, we all love Kate and want to support her. So a great way to do that is to go stop over at her um, at her website. And if you want to see how I made this, go to our Instagram page and check out our Instagram Reels. It's just like a quick 30-second tutorial on how to put, um, put this design together. So yeah, we're going to do a big video on Friday about customer appreciation. 
Mr. Andrew actually has a beautiful kit um, in addition to eight other companies, nine if you include Softlax, and all of the kits launched today. And so um, I'm going to go through the names. We'll have a web page. We're going to post a link to it so you can check it out. And then, like I said, I'd like to go into greater detail on Friday at 12 p.m. Uh, right here on the Softlax Company uh, Facebook page and then our YouTube channel so that we can talk a little bit about what to expect for, um, for Customer Appreciation Week. So let me flip over to my hand camera. And um, yeah, let me show you the schedule real fast. I printed out the whole web page from Customer Appreciation. I only have a black and white printer though, so it's not very exciting. Uh, but Kristen put together an entire page, you guys, that has everything you need to know. And uh, I think it is up and running, if I'm not wrong. So you can actually uh, check that out. It's like amazing kit day. We have our regular kit day every month, which will be in a week from now. Um, we'll have our normal kit day. This is like mega charged kit day. Yes, Kim, that's right. All kits and related items for the event, which is the last week of July, July 26th to the 30th, all of these companies have been so gracious and lovely to put together kits for their, uh, their event. And it will all happen in our Softlex VIB Studio Facebook group. And if you want to make along, you want to go buy whichever kit you're most interested in or multiple kits you're most interested in. Um, many of these I have been privy to information are very limited in supply. Maybe they'll make more if they sell out, but I don't know. There's no rules. So if a company wanted to just make 20 kits, that's all they made is 20 kits. And um, so you do want to look through that list and make a plan as soon as possible. And, um, and we're doing it early, like Andrew said, so that there's time for you guys to get the kits and make along with us if you want to. And there is just going to be a really vast, um, vast amount of things you can learn during this week using Softflex beading wire or craft wire. And um, all the way from like doing things on a loom to uh, doing things on a Kumihimo desk. Um, Allegory Gallery has kind of a mystery kit. So we'll, that'll be fun to see uh, what Andrew puts together with that. We, of course, have a mystery kit as well, which went up on our website. Um, Stars Beads has a craft wire kit that she's doing that's really, really great. Um, but they're all good. They're all, you can use silver stuff. I mean, really, every single project is good. And I've been just so pleased to be able to collaborate with all of these amazing companies. So um, I think we have, yep, we have the link posted there, Lois. And so when we're all done with the video, go jump over there and check out all of those kits. Yes, Andrew's kit is great. It's so cute. It um, actually corresponds with our Be Kind kit. It has a bee theme to it, which is really fun because a lot of you guys have a lot of bee bits and parts from our Be Kind kit. So that'll work out really well. Uh, Kim says the link is live now um, in VIB. Sorry, Wicked Migraine. No problem. So we will have a web page that will have all of the information and there will be links to each company to buy their kits. So that's one thing and that's what Thomas just linked. But when it comes to July 26th and the 30th, for this schedule, Monday through Friday, it's gonna all happen exclusively in the Softlex BIB Studio Facebook group. All of it is free except for to buy kits if you wanna beat along. Um, but I do suggest and hope that you will buy some kits from these wonderful companies um, because not only is this a way for us to show our appreciation to all of you for being such loyal, wonderful customers for Softlex, 
Um, it's a way for us to show some appreciation for these fantastic companies who have supported Softlex company over the years. So um, it's kind of a double header where we can thank our bead store customers at the same time as also thanking uh, all of you that are the end users of our Softlex beading wire. Okay, so yes, everyone should have theirs posted today, Lois. So that was the goal. I don't know if some of them are still working on it, but by the end of today, everyone was supposed to have it posted, if that helps. Um, and I think most people do already. So um, get over there. And then on Friday, I will go into greater detail about each of the projects um, and let you know if anything's already sold out at that point. Um, but you do want to get on there and figure out what you're doing. Uh, we have a great deal going on this week. We have some extra Be Kind uh, bead strands. And so we thought it'd be fun to give some of them away as a free gift if you order over $55 on our website, uh, softlexcompany.com. And so I um, am going to design something using our Be Kind bead strand this week. And then, of course, we're going to be opening our Be Kind design kit next Wednesday. There are a handful of these left. Um, I think we're like nine, over 90% sold out on them. So if you haven't grabbed one, there's still time. You can get one now and, um, and get your strand for free. And you can get your customer appreciation kit too. These are a little bit more expensive than our normal kits. They have a little more in them. Kristen and I will be designing from our customer appreciation uh, butterfly garden kit for the whole week. So we're going to have, I think, four designs at least, if not more, coming out of this one kit. And so it's a little bulkier and we're selling it at $39.95 if you want to pick that up today. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Our Lakeside Trio has been selling like crazy. I don't know why we didn't make that a trio sooner. Um, it's really, <laughs> really doing well. And I can see why it's a, such a pretty palette of colors. Um, we also only have three of these uh, Lakeside bead mixes left that were in our Lakeside kit. So um, if you wanted to grab those, we're also very low on the rondelles that we had put online last week. There's only one, I think it was Peridot left in the rondelles. Um, and I just wanted to um, post or say, Andrew, thank you so much for always supporting Softlex. And Abby also is here. Abby has a fantastic project that she's going to be doing uh, with Customer Appreciation Week. And uh, I, I urge you to check that out as well. I think Abby has such a neat style. Um, I feel like she just, she's like a real trendsetter. And so you should definitely check out her project on the customer appreciation page as well. And um, I look forward to like looking at each of the projects in detail on Friday for sure. Yeah, you guys are both great. We're so fortunate to know such wonderful and creative people. And we're so fortunate they're willing to um, support our company and work with us on these big projects like the Great Beat Extravaganza and now Customer Appreciation Week as well. It's a lot of fun um, to work together. So thank you. These colors are really pretty. Oh, April's here too. I feel like all of our friends, um, all of our friends are joining us. April is from Just Beat It, and they also have a fantastic kit uh, that Joyce created. And um, I will show pictures. I'm going to try to get some color pictures together when I go to the office tomorrow. And then we'll look at pictures together on Friday at 12 p.m. They're all amazing. I know. Oh, my gosh. Neelay's here, too. Hey, Neelay. I'm listening in and knitting my wire. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Neelay always has a good project as well. And I think he launched his kit yesterday. So he was a little bit of a stinker. He got out there early ahead of everybody else. I said yesterday, you're a rule breaker, Neelay. Always doing your own, walk into your own drum beat. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we're going to make today. Um, I was thinking this big tassel was kind of calling my name. We have a really nice tassel mix right now. 
um, that you can nab in the store. And I think I might do something with that guy because it's um, it's just stunning. And I was also looking at these beads. I've loved these since the first time I saw them. We got them in a few weeks ago and they're just really pretty. I'm sure some of you have nabbed these already. They're uh, 13 millimeter faceted rounds in like this really nice soft uh, green color that I think is just really, really lovely. So I'm gonna nab, I'm gonna open those up too, I think, and maybe mix those in with my design here. Let's see what Andrew has to say. Back when I got started in the bead world, asymmetrical designs weren't really a big thing. So for a while, that was my jam and what I was known for when I made designs for magazines. So this is a throwback to that. Oh, do you have a design in mind already, Andrew? Because I noticed, I think your picture only had components, um, but it didn't have any um, finished design to see. Or was I wrong about that? I, I since there's so many and we were working hard to get it up. <laughs> Neelay says, always dancing to the beat of my own drum, but doing my best design work with soft flex wire. So true. I love that. <laughs> oh, good. Andrew has a design in mind. I can't wait to see it. I don't feel like you showed that to us, but I know you love a good secret. So maybe that's why. Ooh, wouldn't this be kind of pretty to flip this this way? Let's move some of this out up here. Make a little space for myself. I think flipping it that way could be really, really lovely. And then we can keep those little metal pieces there. And um, hmm, throw some of these in up here. Let's see, maybe one of the smaller ones, like so, and I'm going to have to break this up a little bit with something else. I have this bag of beads too, I can always take a few things out of here. I love a good asymmetrical design. I think you're a real pro at that, Andrew. Oh, good. Okay. Andrew will post another picture. Send it to Kristen. Let's make sure we have it on our webpage because I feel like the picture uh, that we have is just materials. And if you have a design idea, then we that'd be fun to see the whole thing, or unless you're keeping it secret and you're just sending it to me. Um, it's always hard to tell. Let's see, should we add a little yellow in? I'm feeling like that's a lot of, um, oh, you know what I have? I was noticing, I do have some of these spacer beads from Tierra Cast. I was just thinking about those, add a little bit of special metal. I really like these little hammer tone spacer beads. They add just the right amount of um, metal color in between the beads. When you need like just that little touch, sometimes they can be super helpful. And the strand did come with some of these little metal guys. So I have that as an option as well. I'm thinking this could be a long necklace. I pulled out this really beautiful um, cl temple clasp that we sell also from Tierra Cast, but I might just go claspless since I've got this big centerpiece here. This almost looks like a mala. Uh, let's see what Abby is saying. Facebook's being so wacky, so I'm back on my personal page because it wouldn't let me comment for my business page. Why is that? I don't know why Facebook has been so difficult. I know um, poor Jill McKay, like Colorado was completely blacked out earlier. And I don't know why um, 
I don't know why that is, like why it's having such a rough time. Okay, so we've got a really good choice to make. I have got a bunch of wire colors here. And for the first few people that answer, um, I will take a quick poll. Which wire color, let me see if I hold it this way, do you think I should use? Because I'm going to expose the wire up the back. I'm leaning towards the yellow, um, which I happen to just love our bright yellow. And I think it's so pretty with this turquoise color. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. I see a white. Oh, I see a yellow. Hey, Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So good to see you guys. Kelly also has a fantastic kit put together for Customer Appreciation Week. Oh, look at all those yellows. Who would have thought? Over all these years, we've had so much trouble selling yellow beading wire. I mean, it's really been our slowest selling beading wire, and I have used more yellow this year than ever before. It's just been wildly, um, wildly <laughs> popular because of the Pantone color this year. It's so funny. And I love yellow too. Um, this is the fluorite for someone, I think it was Sue said the bottom color. We've got fluorite, our green turquoise, our uh, blue lapis, our white quartz, and then of course our yellow lemon topaz, which looks like it is the fan favorite. Oh, Kelly, that's so sweet. I missed it. It matches your sunny personality. Oh, thank you. I am feeling rather um, sunny today. My um, personal information, my husband um, has to switch jobs. And we found out two weeks ago, and it wasn't something he wanted to do. But he uh, found a great job for City of Berkeley, and he signed his offer today. And so I'm feeling an immense sense of relief today because uh, we were quite concerned there for a little bit as to what might happen. So I'm very sunny today, for sure. <laughs> Whereas I was maybe a little cloudy over the last two weeks um, as we worked through the process. But it's it's all worked out good. And um, I'm just so thankful and grateful. Yeah, it was definitely, it was a lot to think about, especially in a pandemic. Um, my husband works in all sorts of things, um, but his new job is going to be grant monitoring. And before that, he was working on uh, the budget in San Francisco. And so he's done budget work and auditing work and legislative works. He's he's done it all. OK, so I'm going to string. I'm going to attach down here. I think I'm going to string up. And I'm thinking I might come all the way around. Is that kind of crazy? Is that going to work? Hmm. Or do I want to do the middle? I bet that's probably a better way to go. Like, how would I normally do this? Is to do probably like right here and then come around from there. So I'm gonna take, sorry, I'm working out the details in my head as I go. I'm gonna take about one quarter of this very long wire. It's probably two and a half feet long. And I'm gonna string a crimp. So I'm going part way down this wire and most of the way down this big wire. And that way I can come around and I should be able to crimp it like right here on the end and not have that be a big deal. The only tricky thing here is that I fit through all these beads twice, which I should, there shouldn't be any issue there. 
Okay, I think I've worked out the logistics of how to make it work, so let's get going. So I've got my wire wrapped around my tassel and doubled up inside my crimp tube, and now I'm going to um, I'm going to take my magical crimping pliers and I'm going to center that two by two millimeter crimp tube right in the middle and compress to make a little four corner square, and then I'm going to turn it on its side. So if you look at it, I'm just taking those little four corners and compressing it in. And I'm just going to go around and around, tightening it down so that it attaches really nicely to my beautiful tassel. And then I'm going to take both ends of the wire, one being short and one being long, and I'm going to go ahead and string my beads. April says she could gaze at my bead tray all day long. I know I actually, speaking of my husband, got that from him for Mother's Day. He got me these really beautiful, like, rainbow bead trays. Aren't they fun? He got me two small ones and then two big, huge ones. And I have just found them to be so handy. At the time, I was like, oh, metal trays? <laughs> what am I going to do with these? Um, but it did, it did um, work out fine. Let me see what Marisol is saying. Thank you, Joyce. Marisol says, uh, did Sarah do the video on Magical Crimper? I missed it. I have used them a million times um, for Magical Crimpers. Do you mean like a an Instagram video or just a video just about magical crimpers? I'm sure Thomas can go find one um, from our U early YouTube days and post a link if you want to just see magical crimpers. But I use them all the time and I'm going to use them again in this video. If you want me to um, go a little bit more slowly, I am happy to do that to make sure you see all the details. Make the ravioli. I know, Andrew, I was joking one day not too long ago. Maybe it was the great beat extravaganza that everyone should take a drink <laughs> every time I say ravioli. And every time um, Miss Kelly says barrel knot, you can take another drink, right? <laughs> All right. So here's the tricky part. We've got two kind of big beads there that aren't going to sit nicely next to each other. So I'm going to kind of thumb through my beads over here and just see if there's anything smaller that might just kind of sit a little bit more nicely in that area. It's like a nice little light blue one. Those might work. There's also this little pinch bead, which is tiny. The thing about a bead mix, a check glass bead mix, at least the ones that we carry, is uh, we do a scoop. And a scoop will have a random assortment of beads. And so sometimes you'll have to kind of go through it to find just the right bead and make sure you have enough for your design. So I could do that, would be, which would be like a little clear glass. I kind of like these little blue. They're kind of an odd color for the design, though. So let me see, kind of like a little tanzanite of a color if I like that. Okay, so we have another choose your own adventure moment. I've got two small beads here that I think would work at this spot. Do you prefer the blue with this design or do you prefer the clear with this design? And I'll take whoever the first few people that answer are, I will take your answer and move on. Don't you love choose your own adventure designing? It's my favorite. It's my favorite to design with all of you guys and get your help. Let's see. New comments. Blue, 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 clear. Okay. Oh, oh, but there were a lot of clears at the beginning. 
Hmm. Boy, that's a tough one. I see clear, 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 blue, 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 clear, blue, clear, blue. <laughs> Whoa, this is like a 50-50. Usually it's pretty dramatic. Hmm. I, I do remember those books. We have some of them waiting for the girls to get old enough to do Choose Your Own Adventure. Okay, so I'm going to do clear since it was one of the first ones that was chosen quite a bit and I said I'd pick the first, first people. We're gonna go with clear. A little of that wire is probably gonna show. It may stagger a little bit, no worries. We're just gonna go with it. Life is uh, too busy to get too worried about nonsense things, right? I'm thinking I'll put in that gold and then maybe this gold to just break it up a little bit. And then maybe finish up at the end here. I'm thinking that might be good. I kind of wish I would have put the square. I might swap the square since I have a round down here. So maybe this is another choose your own adventure moment. Do I keep it with the square on top or do I swap and put the square in the middle so that the rounds are on the outside and the square is in the middle? What would your preference be if you were making this design? <laughs> yes, swap the square. Swap, swap, yes. Isn't it funny once you see something, sometimes you're like, oh, that would have been better. And the nice thing is before you crimp, you can still do it. You don't have to, you're not stuck. Okay. And do I want this one? I'm kind of thinking this one made more sense at the bottom. Let's look what it looks like without. Hmm. I feel like it's kind of an odd, because it's such a large shape, it makes more sense down lower than it does up so high. So I think I'm going to let those ones go and use them in something else. I am going to use them because I think they're really lovely, but maybe in a different design. Okay, here we go. Looks like most of you agreed on that choose your own adventure step. Let's see. So if you like these colors, this yellow and turquoise together, you would love our Be Kind design kit. It is not a typical black and yellow and white color mix. We definitely take some liberty when we design one of our kits um, to make it a little more fashion friendly. And so the bead strand usually gives you a little hint as to what you're gonna find in your kit. And so this is the colorway of the kit that I will reveal uh, next week. Okay, so one thing I need to probably do is find another little clear glass bead to put on the end. And the reason being, is I'm gonna guess this hole on this bead is wider possibly than my crimped crimp. And I wanna crimp these in place on the wire. And so I think I'm gonna um, see if there's another little bead over here that I would like to add that I have two of. Isn't that an interesting looking bead? The hole is on the side, side here. Um, so it's almost like a little leaf. Huh. Very cool. I didn't see those in there before. This one's kind of fun. It's like a little twisted clear glass piece. Two of those. Those are kind of neat. What else is in this little mix? Oh, I always like these little guys, not for this design, but I think they're so cute. Those little round with the hole at the top. They're very cute little 
charmy looking guys. So let's try this one, which I think is just an interesting shape. And this one. And then you guys can vote left or right. I'll bring it up closer so you can see what I'm what I've got here. Left, which is kind of a funny off-centered bead or right, which is a little wavier. Which do you prefer for my top bead? And I'll take your first few uh, votes and run with it. Okay, we're seeing right, 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 right. Oh, it's another, it's another one where everyone agrees. Okay, we'll go with right. I like that little wiggle worm bead there. It's kind of fun. Okay, now we're gonna do some crimping again. So I'm gonna go in great detail for those who have never seen before. Our crimps come in sterling silver, gold filled, copper in black oxidized silver. And um, I am going to first, string a crimp to this side. So on my very long wire, I strung the crimp. And I'm gonna crimp that one just to a single strand of wire. And I'm gonna do that by, because there isn't quite enough wire to crimp with the magical crimpers, I'm gonna take a little piece of extra wire and string it into my crimp tube and that'll give it a little bit of extra uh, nylon in the coating to hold on to. I'm gonna bring my pliers up. These have like a little dome on each side that's identical. And when you close it, it creates like a round shape inside of that plier. So each side is just the same. And the crimp tube fits right in the center. Did I just lose all of my beads? Why am I not using a bead stopper? <sighs> oh, well, it'll be okay. All right, so um, bring it up close. I like to put my crimp inside of my crimping plier and slide it up to my beads as close as I can get. Um, because I have that second wire in there, it's going to naturally build in some flexibility for me. And um, once I have it close and I have it just where I want it on the nylon coating, then I'm gonna go ahead and compress with my plier. My first pass should create what, what creates like a little four corner square or what I like to call a ravioli. And then I'm gonna turn it on its side and I'm gonna compress in those four corners. So I often will kind of hang it like this, come in with my crimping pliers, in the opposite direction. So those four corners are now where the round uh, domes are inside the pliers. I'm gonna still kind of pull it close to my beads because it might still be slipping around on the wire and I'm gonna compress again. And then you just kind of spin and compress around the whole thing until you've got a really nice secure fit. And if you want, if you want a bigger look than this, you can still use a bead cover. Um, you could put a three millimeter bead cover over it and that would be totally fine. That'll just give you a, a larger ball, but it should hold those beads in place very nicely. And I will do that on both sides. And then I'll go back and restring all my beads that I just, <laughs> <laughs> dropped off the other end. Um, let's see. Melanie is asking, Sarah, is that good to do with fine wire as well? Um, yes, you want more fine wire. The magical crimpers do not work as well with the fine um, diameter of Softflex because it has such a thin nylon coating. I often will return to my regular crimping pliers if I'm using a 1-4 fine. Um, let's see what Marisol has to say. It started thundering here in Tucson. Oh, are you having a monsoon? 
Um, and she tried to put her dog out and he looked at me as if to say, really, I'm a chihuahua. It's like, you don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the monsoon storms. It's the one thing I miss about uh, Arizona in the summer. There, well, and swimming at night in a warm pool. I also miss that at, at uh, that as well. I didn't use a bead stopper, Lydia. Can you believe that? And I even have a bead stopper sitting here. Um, I think I got all her fluffled from customer, customer appreciation week excitement. <laughs> and I forgot to use the bead stopper. So yes, use a bead stopper. They're very handy. You can find them on our website. They open up and they clip on the wire. And so when you're crimping one side, you don't have to worry about all the beads sliding off on the other side. And I love to demonstrate that, why you should use one um, about every three months in a live video. I go ahead and demonstrate that for you, unknowing to myself. <laughs> um, so you're welcome, now you know. <laughs> All right, so to finish this up, I'm gonna round this wire over and I'm gonna crimp both of these wires together on this end. And then this uh, necklace will just fit right over my head. I don't need a clasp or anything for it. So I'm gonna grab another one of our two by two millimeter crimp tubes. So one thing that's really important about Softflex crimp tubes is they're super thick. And that makes them really, really strong. They're also a solid tube. Um, some crimps are made, they're like a flat sheet and it's rolled and it has a seam. And that seam can be very weak and it can create you a lot of problems in your design. So it's important to have good quality crimps. We are by no means the only company that manufactures good quality crimps. But if you're getting them at like your hobby craft store, um, like, you know, one of the big chain stores and they're coming from overseas, they're probably not a really great quality crimp. So definitely find your supplier, whether it's us or one of our many wonderful bead store customers um, and get some really good quality crimps. So I did the same thing on this end as the other. I put my, my long wire through my two by two millimeter crimp tube. I'm holding on to my short wire so that I can kind of tug that crimp as close to the beads as I can get it. And then I can compress to create that little four corner square. And then I'm gonna turn it and keep going. And just compress in those four corners and then just go around and around it. You're basically taking the edge of your tube, which is, you know, long cylinder, and compressing in the edges of that tube into that nylon coating of the wire so that it can really be really nice and snug. And then you can come in with your cutters and slide in as close as you can get with the flat end of your cutter to that crimp tube and just trim off your wire on both sides. And there we go. We used our beautiful Be Kind bead strand, which I'm really glad I got to use this one. A lot of times the bead strands end up selling out before I even get to use them. We still have these lovelies left that came on the bead strand, so we could make a quick earring as well um, to match what we did here. Oh, it looks like we have two little metal pieces. I could have put that at the top if I wanted, that would have been nice. And yeah, it looks, I think it looks really lovely. You can find this um, tassel in a tassel collection that's on our website. You can find the check glass bead mix, but there were only three left when I started the live. So there aren't many. And then of course, you can get your Be Kind bead strand free as a free gift when you order over $55 uh, on the website this week while supplies last. Let's see if there's any questions that I need to answer over here. 
Hope says, I can't believe how much easier it is to string with bead stoppers. I've used lots of crimps and softlux crimps are the best. No, bead stoppers really are a game changer. They're so much, so much better. Suzanne says, I haven't seen that bead stopper before. Do you sell them? Yes, I do. I don't know if we still have this color of teal. We were closing out some of the colors. And um, I don't know if this color is still available, but we definitely have red. And then we have a few other colors in both the big size. And then we have a mini size if you work more in like 014 or 011, 010 wire, you might wanna check out the even smaller ones. Um, these, these can be a little clunky with the daintier wire and daintier beads, um, but the it's the best size for me when I'm using medium 019. Um, let's see any other questions that I missed. I don't think so. I think I got all of you guys. Um, oh, I see Beverly's asking, are we going to have a booth at the International Jewelry Show in July? No, um, we are not doing any shows this year. And in the future, we probably will not do bead shows in the same way as we have in the past. We may be there uh, demonstrating or doing make it take it or um, or helping out, you know, in, in someone else's booth who sells our product. But we are just out of the bead show business as far as having our own booth. Um, so you may find us at some point, but it probably won't be like in our own traditional booth anymore because um, it just we don't have the manpower to be able to make it work. And um, we do so much online. So we enjoy enjoy being here online. Thank you for that great question, though. I know there's a couple of bead shows that are opening up and it is exciting to get out there. I also encourage you to go to your local bead store, um, especially now that some of the COVID restrictions are lifting. You can go in and see your beads in your bead store and pick things out um, and get that expert help that you can often find at a bead store. So that would be, that's a idea. It's an ideal time to definitely get in, look up their website first, see if their hours have changed, see if they have any rules about whether you should or shouldn't wear a mask and then, you know, plan your day and go spend some time at the bead store, especially if you're vaccinated um, and you can get out and do that kind of stuff. Now, I think that's my, my best suggestion. Uh, Stacy's asking, when is the Be Kind uh, Mystery Kit reveal? It is next Wednesday. So we will be opening up this design kit next Wednesday. We will launch our next monthly kit. Um, and I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I think it's summer rain, speaking of monsoons. I think we have summer rain coming up at the end of um, the month on the 30th. So one week from today, we'll open that up and get started. And this guy, customer appreciation, you can buy now, just launched today. Um, it's $39.95 and it will be, there's a limited quantity, more limited than our normal kits. And um, we'll be opening this up and using it for four different tutorials during Customer Appreciation Week, which is the last week of July. And if you just joined us now, here's kind of a quick look at the schedule. I told everybody at the beginning, I'm gonna hop back on on Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific time and kind of look at all of the different projects that people have planned and talk about each one a little bit more in more detail. And I'll do that on a separate video that all of these wonderful stores can also share uh, with their social network. Um, but most of them have their kits have launched today, if, if not already, sometime today they're supposed to. And we have links for it on our customer appreciation uh, web page, which I see Thomas just um, posted. So click that link when the show is over and go check out all of the kits. Some of these stores only have a handful, like 20, 25 kits. We might be able to talk them into making more if they sell out quickly. Um, but 
it, maybe not. So I would get on there and figure out which ones you really want to do and make sure you get those kits as soon as possible. Um, I can't wait to Abby. Thank you for joining us uh, for Customer Appreciation Week and Andrew and Neele and Kelly and any of our other uh, presenters that are here today. We just so appreciate all of the things you've done for SoftLex over the years. Um, I thought I saw one more. Beverly says, bead stores are a dying breed here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I know, and I hope that that ends. You know, I hope, um, I hope that all of us appreciate those small businesses all the more after uh, this COVID, bout of COVID, and uh, we get out there and support those that are still opening their doors um, because it is a lot of hard work. And then, you know, there's lots of online small businesses too. So if you don't have a local bead shop that you can drive to and enjoy or a local bead store, all of these companies do work online as well. And so you can reach any of these small businesses and help uh, support our beading community along with us. So I think that's it. Let me see. I see we're talking about what is your favorite bead store while we're at it? What is your, that's maybe online. Maybe it's, um, let me flip back to this other camera. Maybe your favorite bead store is online. Maybe it is a brick and mortar store that you can go to. Maybe it's like Abby's store and it's a bead store, but it's also a yarn store. So you get two for one. You can do two different kinds of things uh, in that store. Uh, maybe it's like Kelly's uh, store up in Canada, which seems to be just like a really hopping, beautiful place. Maybe it's like Allegory Gallery, um, Andrew's store in Pennsylvania, um, which has, you know, not only beads, but lots of other uh, art supplies and, uh, and pieces of art as well. What is your favorite bead store to go to? Here in the Bay Area, uh, my closest bead store that I used to go to is Just Beat It, who's going to be one of the presenters here um, for Customer Appreciation Week. Another store I love to go to that is still open if you want to physically go into a store in the Bay Area is Blue Door Beads. Um, we also have one called, I think it's called Pomegranate Seeds in Vallejo, which is pretty close to me. Um, <laughs> Julie says, I'm an equal opportunity shopper. Let's see. Uh, we have great local bead stores called Bernie's Beads. Oh, you're in you're in the Phoenix area, right? With a great selection of African beads. Isn't is that in the Phoenix area? You should tell me where where you're located if it's a physical place to go into, so people in your area will know to look there as well. Mary says she loves Jill Wiseman design and she likes Monica's local uh, brick and mortar. Where is Monica's located? That's another one that I, um, I haven't heard that one. So I'd love to know where that's available. Beverly likes Softlex and General Bead and General Bead is in San Francisco, right? And uh, Nancy says, oh, hi, everyone from Anvil, Pennsylvania. Do you have a bead store near you, uh, Nancy, that you like to go to? Yeah, Bernie's is in Mesa, Arizona. I've been to that one. It used to be close to my house. I lived in the Arcadia area. And so it wasn't too far to shoot down there. My favorite bead store in the Phoenix area that I would go to all the time is still there. It's Bead World. And I went there um, quite frequently when I needed like last minute things uh, for whatever design I was working on. Um, let's see. Who else do we have here? Yes, Speed Worlds in Phoenix. Yes, it is. That's a good one. Well, keep posting. And those of you that watch this later, please do post your favorite bead store name and where it's located so that uh, folks that watch this can maybe see a new store that they don't know about in their area that they can go check out. And you can also just do a Google search and see what's around you. There may be something that you didn't even realize is there and has a really great selection of, you know, some very unique things. 
Danielle says she loves Ben Franklin uh, crafts and frames in Redmond. And you're up in Washington. Is that right, Danielle? Yes. Bead, Bead World is a wonderful, wonderful shop. Um, and yeah, so I'd love to hear where, where should we go? Where should everyone go? We used to have a bead store finder. I miss having that. Um, but it was a lot of upkeep to try to keep track of who was open and where they were open. But I'd love to get back to where we have like a list of all the great sources of beads out there, um, where you can shop both locally, you know, from that brick and mortar store, but also online um, for those that don't have those brick and mortar stores it would be really good. Let's see. The bead stores here in Northwest South Carolina are like two hours away. Isn't that unfortunate when it gets to the point where it's so far, it makes it real difficult um, to get out to the store. Marianne says she likes to shop from Allegory Gallery and Sam's Bead Shop. That's a good one. And Lynn is saying Bella Moto Online art beads, rings, and things, and some of her are some of her favorite Washington State uh, favorites. Those are all good ones too. Yeah, art beads and rings and things both sell soft flex as well. Um, and I think Bella Moto maybe too. It sounds familiar. I don't always have a complete list in my head of all the places um, that sell soft flax. Oh, Lona's saying that there aren't many near her in Wales and online is really her own choice. Yeah, it's a big reason why soft flax sells online is um, because it's just more accessible at this point. Um, but we do have a gallery in Sonoma, and we do intend to open it up for some events eventually, again, once we get past all this COVID nonsense. Um, oh, good. Mary says she loves all the GBE vendors. I love to hear that because most of them are dear friends, and I love that you're supporting them. That's just wonderful to hear. Uh, Jessica is suggesting out on a whim in Katati. That's a great option. And Miranda says she hasn't seen a Ben Franklin in 20 years. Yeah, they're, um, they're still out there for sure. You can still find Ben Franklins um, in lots of different places. And in fact, one of our, one of our nice, uh, decent bead store customers is the Ben Franklin in Hawaii. Um, they sometimes buy soft wax. And... I'm looking. <laughs> Lona says we should open up a shop in Wales, UK. Oh goodness, wouldn't that be a little tough? It's hard. I would love to visit. I would be that would be my favorite. My favorite new job next to doing live sales would be to go to the UK location. Uh, Nancy has a Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so there's lots of good companies out there to check out and support. I really highly suggest those like small, local, niche, bead-loving companies because um, I think they have the best selection. They usually care a lot about quality. It's a real labor of love to own and run a bead store. You have to really love it usually, um, especially if you made it through COVID. I would, I would say you probably have to really love it. So seek them out. And, um, and like I said, go online, check out their website, see if they have any rules about what to do when you go in the store and what their hours are. Cause some of them have had to adapt their hours um, to try to keep open, you know, for some period of time and see if you can go in and just like physically see some beads again and, um, and see what they're up to. Maybe they're starting to launch classes again or kits because uh, COVID restrictions are lifting. And um, yeah, I'm a, big, I'm a big supporter when it comes to all those wonderful local spaces because they're, it's a big part of our beating community um, that we all enjoy and love and we don't want it to go away. So we gotta get in there and, and definitely buy some beads, right? All right, so 
We will have all of our information for Customer Appreciation Week on the website. Thomas has loaded up the link a couple of times. You can get the free uh, Be Kind Beat Strand with your orders over $55 at softlexcompany.com. We also do free U.S. shipping on orders over $49. And I will be uh, back again on Friday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time, I'll be visiting with Jesse James Beads, and they are launching some new Softlex duos, uh, color duos, and all of their own making, and they match some of their new bead collections. And so I will be on with them uh, making some things and visiting with Miss Sarah James. And then on um, Friday at noon Pacific time, I will be back on the the Softlex Facebook page and YouTube channel. And I will just talk about Customer Appreciation Week and answer any questions that you've come up with and uh, let you know what the different kits look like in video form. Um, and that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun once we have everything kind of solidified and all those links are up and working. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed making this sweet little necklace. I'll post pictures on our Instagram page, of course. And, um, and I'll probably put a reel up there sometime this week if you want to check that out. Don't forget the live sale is live. It is available through Thursday night at midnight. Um, so you've got another day to do some shopping. Part one and part two are both pinned in our announcements in our Softlex VIB studio group. So if you want a quick way to find them, that is the way to do it. And uh, just sending you guys all some love. Thank you for being here, enjoying my good news with me today. Not only my for my family, um, my husband, um, but also Customer Appreciation Week launching for the very first time. We're super excited. And you can, of course, catch up more about us on our website, uh, which is softlexcompany.com. Bye, everybody. Have a great, great afternoon. See you on Friday.